Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for well, it's the daily vibes. The daily vibes. So I just cut this deck. I just took it out of my drawer. I have the Fool and Temperance. They're both upright. So the Fool is starting over, starting from scratch. It's a fresh, fresh start, and. Temperance is a card of evolution. It's a card of change, um, accepting and allowing, going with the flow. We may have somebody here that's taking a risk, you know, doing something spur of the moment. Um, blending. This is like blending to create harmony, compromising, um, making a change. So there, we have somebody here that's about to take a risk by the looks of things. This is somebody that is reaching. It looks like we have somebody here that is reaching. They're reaching for the stars, right? They're reaching for wish fulfillment, right? Doesn't that, that, that kind of like look like what it is? So this is, this is doing something risky. Um, it's time. Temperance to me is a card of timing. Uh, it's a card of purpose. It's a card of evolution, right? going for the going with the flow just you know going doing it just going with it just you know not resisting at ease at ease that's what i saw on that card what do we have for around the Third. Now keep in mind that this reading is not sign specific. This is an overall energy that may or may not apply to you. And the timing is fluid, okay? So this could happen today, tomorrow, next week, whatever. What do we have for a message today? Judgment reverse. Now judgment reverse is a poor judgment call. and need to move on from that bad choice feeling guilty or being guilty. You may have somebody here that's guilty. There could be some self-doubt, lack of awareness. Um, somebody's made a poor judgment call. They were unaware. They were un Maybe they were unaware they made a poor judgment call. There could be some bad karma. Um, unawakened. We may have somebody here This is like not awakened, not, not awake or something like that. Lack of judgment, poor judgment. Three of Wands. Three of Wands is making a decision. Um, getting, getting prepared. Getting prepared. Somebody is getting prepared. They've made a poor judgment call. They are discussing or thinking or making plans. I feel like we have somebody here that is getting ready. They're getting ready to make some sort of decision. There's been some sort of delay. Uh, but Three of Wands is about a definite decision. You know, the twos are indecision. This is decision. This is a decision. Is Somebody is making a decision. They're going to be focusing, you know, focusing on the future. Three of Wands. This is like... Getting prepared, getting prepared. I feel like we have somebody here that is getting prepared to do something, to move on from some poor choice. Maybe they're getting ready to be judged, you know. They, there's been some sort, maybe indecision, you know, I don't know, fear of consequences. But this is getting prepared, getting prepared to battle, maybe? Getting prepared, getting, oh, I got chills all of a sudden when I said that. Getting prepared. Seven of Pentacles reversed. So, Seven of Pentacles reversed is unrealistic, dissatisfied, no growth. You know, this is a dead end, right? Somebody has been investing in a dead end. There's no growth. There's no financial security anymore. There's a, there may have been some short-lived success, but it's over. The season is over. The, the time is up, okay? It's time to invest someplace else. It's time to plant those seeds someplace else. It's time for new ground, okay? definite decision. I feel like the decision is made. I do. Because threes are usually the decision is made. It's a time of growth, you know. Somebody's getting ready to expand. 
expand their horizons, maybe even travel. Both these cards can be relocate, the Three of Wands and the Seven of Pentacles, okay? So anyway, we're getting prepared to go someplace, relocate, travel, something, plant their seeds or start a business or do something someplace else. Where they were at, they may have been, they made a poor judgment call. Judgment reverse is moving on from that poor choice. Queen of Pentacles reversed. Now the Queen of Pentacles reversed is insecure. You may have somebody here that is insecure. They're unstable. They may be suffering financially. We probably do have some financial struggles here. Seven of Pentacles reversed. Queen of Pentacles reversed. Doesn't matter what sign you are. Somebody has made a poor judgment call. Now they're refocusing. They're refocusing on their future. There's definitely insecurities though here. There's some sort of insecurities. We have, we have somebody here that isn't giving or they don't have any money or they're not being very generous or they're very spendy or uh, selfish. We may have somebody here that is very, very selfish that isn't really investing in a partnership. They're not really giving to the partnership. Or there's some sort of financial struggle here. There's planning going on. We have somebody here that is getting some plans together. There's definitely financial hardship here. Somebody made a poor judgment call, which I know I've already said. <sighs> death. 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 The end. Death is the end, right? This is this is right next to judgment. Reverse. So this is the end. This is a separation or a loss, right? This is a profound change, a transformation. So we have an ending with a new beginning to follow. This person has been getting prepared. They have been. They invested in something that was insecure, that was unstable, that wasn't very practical, that wasn't very realistic. That's what they did. They invested in somebody that may be selfish, that doesn't really, or doesn't give money or something like that. The Queen of Pentacles in reversed is somebody that is selfish, that is, you know, m money mad, you know, or is uh, very materialistic or selfish. I mean, like, that's what that is. Anyhow, the death card is an ending. It is the ending, the ending of a trial because judgment is a trial. So something is about to end. We have somebody here that's about st to step forward. Okay, they're about to step forward into new, new, a new life. Okay, through a new doorway. We have somebody here that is going through a new doorway. They've been, they've been preparing to do so. Okay, they've been getting prepared, planning. But there's insecurities here. Oh, one just flipped over. Oh, look at that. It's a beautiful one, too. Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles is the ultimate abundance, right? This is financial success. It's permanent. It's a permanent long-term opportunity for abundance. Okay? This is uh, prosperity. ending that leads to prosperity death and the ten of pentacles we have somebody here that is going to be putting some plans in action there's been some sort of delay the delay is just about over headed towards prosperity and abundance the ultimate abundance where they've been there's been a lack of fertility there's been a lack of growth there's been um no nurturing no 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 nurturing at all Somebody's been dealing with a very selfish, greedy uh, individual that was only in it for the money, that was only in it for the stability of it. Ten of Pentacles, that is abundance. The end, the end of, I don't know, we may have the end of a, of a, of a relationship here. Could definitely be a change in living circumstances. Movement, definite movement. Headed towards prosperity, headed towards abundance. We do have a dead end here. 
Somebody's got, it's like they've gotten all prepared. They're ready. They're ready. They're ready. They're ready. They're ready for their new life. They're ready for their abundance. Seven of Pentacles reversed. This is unrealistic. This is dissatisfying. You're not giving anything to this situation. Okay. Mm -mm. Tower. Boom. Here it is. Okay, this is the event. This is the event that changes everything. A major life change, a major disruption, right? This is bang, boom, shake up, right? There's gonna, we have somebody here that is about to, it could be an explosion, somebody may explode, okay? They may just shed some light. Something is about to happen. This is major, it's a major change. Major transformation, tower is mirroring the death. This has to do with prosperity. It has to do with abundance. I think it has to do with the home as well. There definitely could be somebody that is moving. There could be, we have something that is crumbling. It's gonna crumble really, really fast. There could be even a fight. It could be a fight over money. Somebody could be getting thrown out or leaving. Um, the tower is a major disruption that is the universe, the universe causing disruption. Something is about to be revealed. We have a very selfish individual here who does not want to give, by the way. This person does not want to invest. If they don't want to help, they're very selfish, very greedy. Emperor could be dealing with an Aries. Uh, we also have uh, Scorpio, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have Scorpio a couple times, but I believe we have like a, a Mars transit in Scorpio or something like that. I'm not sure what exactly what it is because I'm. I don't know, but battle, be ready. Get ready for, a, I think there's gonna be a battle or there's gonna be a fight. This is somebody that is battle ready, that is ready to fight. There's, the tower could certainly be a fight. Um, something extreme. Get prepared, get prepared. We do have a new life that is about to begin because death is an ending that leads to a new beginning. It leads to prosperity, but this false sense of security needs to crumble first. Somebody has been holding on to a false sense of security that really is insecure. There's no growth. There's no abundance. That's an unrealistic. It's dissatisfying. So I, I feel like there's somebody that is going to be taking charge. You know, maybe it's the Mars energy. I don't know. It's definitely with the tower and the emperor, both right here. Those are both Mars energy and that's fight fight. So there could definitely be a fight. And if, if it looks like it appears to be over money, or a home or something like that. There could be a fall, you know, the tower falls. So there's gonna be a fall, it could be a fallout or a fall from power. You know, uh, this is something collapsing. Collapse of an empire. Next to the Ten of Pentacles, a collapse of a relationship. Something is collapsing. We definitely have somebody here, I think it's a feminine. Okay, that is very selfish, very greedy, very, this is like a green-eyed monster who does not want to give money, that is very selfish with their money, that doesn't nurture things. There's no nurturing here. So there's a feminine here that doesn't nurture, okay? She doesn't nurture things because next to the Queen of Pentacles reverse is the Seven of Pentacles reverse. There's no nurturing. There's no growth. There's somebody, somebody didn't take care of it when it was alive. You know, you got to take care of things. You got, if you want things to grow, you got to water them. You got to take care of them. You got to nurture them. And whoever this person is, doesn't nurture things. All they care about is the financial security of the relationship. That's it. So we do have a person that is in a position of authority that is making a decision. This is a decision. Um, it's sudden, very sudden, about prosperity, about abundance. There's gonna be a sudden change. 
Knight of Swords reverse. A shock. We definitely have a shock. We definitely have a shock here. This is uh, extremely sudden. Page of Cups. Page of Wands reversed. And Knight of Cups. So, Knight of Swords reversed. You may have an individual here that is leaving. You know, they're in a hurry. They're in a hurry. They're, this is, could be a sudden departure. Um, Knight of Swords reversed. Um, their mind is made up. There's no stopping them. Getting out of a situation really, really, really fast. Um, Page of Cups is, a, is about emotions okay there could be a message of love that is coming i, I mean it's got to be honest page of cups is typically uh, a message of love page of wands reverse though is typically not good news so you may have somebody here that has not received good news or they're in a negative mindset they've been in a negative mindset but then we have the Knight of Cups, which is looking for love, looking for a relationship, expressing feelings. Somebody is going to be expressing their feelings. They've been in a negative mindset. Maybe they've been scared with the Page of Wands reversed. Definitely they could have been scared. Knight of Swords reversed as well. That could be fear. Maybe somebody, we have somebody here that has been fearful. They've, they've been... Uh, fearful of love you know i do feel like we have we have uh falling in love here you know with the knight of cups this is making an approach this could be the arrival of a lover i think we have an individual that has been um scared they've been scared But there's so much internal disruption here. I feel like this is like a explosion. Maybe it's an explosion of feelings or it's just somebody gets angry and they explode, right? I feel like we have an individual that has been confused. They've been indecisive, but something happens. Then maybe it's a fight. I'm not sure. Something happens that causes this disruption, this this profound life change. I mean, we have profound life change three times. Judgment, death, and the tower. So there is going to be a profound life change that leads to abundance. But it's a shock. Okay? It is definitely a shock. It's a surprise. There could be a sudden departure that leads to a sudden arrival. I mean, the Knight of Swords is the sudden departure. And then the Knight of Cups is an arrival. Okay, somebody is going to be connecting on a deep level with somebody. There's, there could be somebody maybe receiving a message, you know. Um, anyhow, somebody is going to be receiving a message. I think it's going to be a shock. It's going to be a surprise. They're going to be receiving a surprising message from somebody. May have something to do with a father, I don't know, or a leader, or a boss, or. Uh, Somebody that is making a judgment call. Somebody is definitely making a judgment call. Um, I feel like there's been some unwelcome news. Somebody has been confused, but this is like a, a rude awakening here. The tower re is an, a rude awakening. Okay. Somebody's about to get a rude awakening. There's love. There is some sort of love here. There's an opportunity for prosperity in abundance. But there's been some sort of fear. There has been. Somebody has been scared. They have been scared of being rejected or not being accepted with the judgment reversed. Where there is love, there is acceptance. Just so you know. This is like building a legacy. The begin. I mean, the Ten of Pentacles is is a legacy. It's like building a legacy, building a new foundation. 
there's a tower, there's a foundation that is false, that is fake, that is not stable, that needs to crumble so that you can build a strong foundation. You have to replace your fear, okay? You need to step forward, okay? Death is an ending that leads to a new life. So there is going to be an ending here. This is a major, it is major with death tower, okay? But there's, this is major, major, major shock, a major surprise, a major crumbling of a false sense of security. I think we have a feminine here who is not contributing at all, okay? Or she's spendy or something like that, or she's boring, or she's an old fuddy-duddy, or she's lazy, or... She doesn't cook. She doesn't clean. She doesn't take care of things. She's not very generous. She's, uh, you know, she wants it all handed to her. She doesn't want to put in any effort. She's probably, somebody's getting a rude awakening. Moving on from a bad choice. Ready, ready, ready. We got somebody here that's ready. They're ready for change. They're ready for a new life. There's an opportunity for love here. There is with the Knight of Cups. This is love. This is like love. Falling in love, connecting in love, deepening a bond with somebody. Messages of love. Flirting. Love struck. We may have somebody here that is love struck with the page of cups next to the tower. You know, when you're love struck, you gotta do what your heart wants. This is love struck, it is. Sudden, spontaneous. Didn't we have the fool? I think we did, I can't remember, at the very beginning. Uh, that is doing something spontaneous. This is, that's a, doing something spur of the moment. Stepping into unknown territory, just doing it, replacing that fear and doing it. It's like, I'm ready. I'm ready for my wish fulfillment, grabbing that star, grabbing, going after my dreams. It's, it's yes, yes. So get prepared. There could be an arrival. I mean, we got the Three of Wands, Ten of Pentacles, Page of Cups, Knight of Cups. That's one lineup, okay? Get prepared for an arrival. This is somebody that may be love struck. You know, they're struck by love. They want abundance. They see an opportunity to build a foundation, a strong financial foundation or a strong home. The Ten of Pentacles is abundance, okay? It's long-term success, stable business and family life. Endings lead to new beginnings. Get prepared for an ending and a new beginning. 